many a DC. United icon got a moment in the sun as the club bid farewell to RFK Stadium on Sunday. The pre-game Legends match featured a host of alumni who played their part in building the franchise's trophy lot and reputation. There were plenty of United heroes, from Marco Echeverri and Jamie Moreno to Ryan Nelson and Dwayne De Rosario. The likes of Risto Stoichkov and Freddy Adu added star power, as well. Then Ben Olsen's current crop of players took center stage, as 41,418 filled RFK Stadium for the final MLS match at the 56-year-old venue. Paul Ariola's 44th-minute opener gave the fans a moment to remember, their cheers building from a ripple to rapture as the sequence played out. While the New York Red Bulls earned a 2-1 win, it remained a vintage showcase for the weathered Cathedral of American Soccer. All the while, Bill Hammond watched from the mezzanine. If any player were to relish such an occasion, it would be Hammond, a Northern Virginia native and academy product who has spent his entire eight-year career with United. But after the 26-year-old sat out most of training this week, while orchestrating an expected move to Danish side Midtjylland, Olsen went with backup Steve Clark in goal. Amid a celebration of United's history, the club's longest tenured player became a spectator. To walk out, to see the crowd, to see the upper ball have a few butts in the seats, it was kind of cool, Hamid said. Unfortunately they didn't get the win, but you can see that people bought into it, and they have the passion for the sport here, and it's going to be interesting moving into a new stadium. I think it's going to be a sweet transition. Yet it's one he won't be a part of. Out of contract at season's end, Hamid weighed signing a new deal with United so he could play at Audi Field, a stadium that's been a decade in the making. The 2014 MLS Goalkeeper of the Year also mulled joining Bundesliga side Eintracht Frankfurt, which showed interest in signing him as a backup. But the opportunity to explore life abroad and start in the Danish Superliga, potentially as a showcase for a bigger move down the line, proved to be the right combination. Part of it is the fact that I've never lived anywhere else in my life, Hamid said. Am I choosing the right club? I had options where I'd be a number two. I didn't like that. I was going to be a number two at Frankfurt. I don't know if I would have preferred that. But this is an opportunity for me to walk in and be a starter and continue playing, which is important. United General Manager Dave Casper added to watch a kid grow from our academy to becoming one of the top goalkeepers in our league and in our country is very special. We love the kid. He's really wanted this every offseason, for as far as I can remember, he was in my office, he was in Ben's office talking about, where can I go train? I want to get seen, I want some exposure, I want to feel this, and I want to talk about a potential move. That day is finally here for him, and we want to wish him all the best.